am Dr. Suvarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Ziva Fertility is conducting a free camp for patients suffering from infertility. We are conducting this camp in the month of May on every Saturday at Kompalli, Sanatnagar, Banjara Hills and Manikonda. Included in this camp are free registration, consultation, counseling and semen analysis. Subsequent treatment options will also be uh, suggested to you and you can avail this opportunity. Hi, I am Dr. Suvarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. A lot of patients uh, come to us and ask us if there is any relevance of uh, sperm DNA fragmentation test, if it's of any importance and it increases the success rate in an IVF cycle. Uh, whether their miscarriages can be contributed to this high DNA fragmentation that comes from the uh, test results. So let's look at the main reasons behind these fragmentations and we'll see if there is any relevance to the test results. So first we need to understand what sperm DNA is. You must have seen a lot of uh, DNA pictures where there are two strands going around each other. This is basically the DNA strands which are there in every cell. Now in sperms also these DNA strands are tightly wound. They are tightly packaged in such a way that into the tiny head of the sperm, the entire DNA content can be tightly packaged. These uh, tightly bound DNA can sometimes have breakages. These DNA breakages occur in every cell, but every cell has enzymes that rectify these DNA damages. However, sperm cells do not have those enzymes that can rectify this DNA damage and the DNA damage continues with the, within the sperm until it sometimes even reaches the egg. Such kind of a sperm when penetrates an egg and fertilizes it, uh, there could be a fertilization arrest as in it does not go on to the next stage. There could be um, uh, poor quality of the embryo. There could be an implantation failure as in this embryo does not implant inside the uterus. There could be a lot of um, issues arising from a sperm which had DNA fragments. Now a number of causes can um, affect uh, this DNA damage and studies have shown a clear connection between these causes and the DNA fragmentation inside sperms. Uh, these causes could be smoking, drinking, exposure to uh, pesticides, chronic heat exposure like if they are working in an area where there are furnaces, there are you know, chefs who are constantly around ovens, people who are constantly sitting, uh, have a lot of heat generation in the scrotal area. All these people have higher tendency of showing high DNA fragmentation. Now. Uh, of course, this test itself is very controversial. There are cutoff values. What is a normal range? You know, cutoff values from 5% to 45% have been decided in numerous uh, uh, protocols. And there are a lot of um, discrepancies in the way they should be tested itself. Should a sperm sample be taken from a man who has abstinence of less than three days or more than seven days? Should the sample be processed before the DNA fragmentation is tested? Should it be frozen? and transported uh, to you know and when transported to another area for testing does this freezing and thawing cause more uh, dna fragmentation all these studies have been done and uh, more uh, information has to be gathered out of what is the exact uh, protocol to be followed to perform sperm dna fragmentation now there are many types of um, investigations you know in inside dna fragmentation tests there are many types of uh, forms of it there is the direct form and then indirect form but what you need to remember are the names there is the tunnel test the comet test the nick translation test scsa test the acridin orange test now these tests basically some of them test what is the dna fragmentation in the sperms present as in when a sample arrives in 100 sperms how many are damaged and how many are not in some tests these sperms are exposed to a chemical uh, agent you know which uh, causes damage to the sperm's dna and then the damage is tested so um, basically this is the concept behind the way it's tested and like i said the cutoff values are also very controversial it ranges from uh, five percent to 45 percent but most of the tests stick to 30 percent now more than 30 percent in some papers have shown a higher fragmentation in the embryos lower implantation potential lower uh, you know clinical pregnancy rate and higher miscarriage rate but again like i said studies are few the uh, you know the clinical the number of patients in every study is very less so we need to wait for more uh, 
um, robust studies to come to be able to decide if DNA fragmentation does really contribute in uh, the success rate of an IVF cycle. However, uh, for whatever it is worth, improving your lifestyle and changing the way you um, have your habits like smoking, drinking, all these things, if you are able to control them, definitely the sperm quality will improve and you can achieve pregnancy faster. Thank you.